How can we convert 1 over 4 as a fraction to a percent? In order to do that, first we need to convert the fraction to a decimal, and then we can convert the decimal to a percent. To convert this fraction to a decimal, we need to divide. So the numerator is going to go on the inside, that's the dividend. The divisor is going to be the denominator. Now 4 doesn't go into 1, so we need to add a decimal point and a 0. Now how many times does 4 go into 10? 4 goes into 10 2 times. 4 times 2 is 8, so 4 times 0.2 is 0 0.8. 1.0 minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.2. Now 4 doesn't go to 2, so we got to bring down a 0. Now how many times does 4 go into 20? 4 goes into 20 5 times. 4 times 5 is 20, so 4 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.20. And when we subtract them, we get a remainder of 0. As soon as we get the remainder of 0, the quotient gives us the answer. So 1 over 4 as a decimal is 0 0.25. I mean, 1 over 4 as a fraction is 0 0.25 as a decimal. Now that we have the decimal equivalent, to convert the decimal to a percentage, we just got to multiply it by 100%. And that's going to give us 25%. So 1 fourth as a fraction is equal to 25%. Now let's try another example. Let's convert 3 over 8 to a percentage. So let's use long division. Now 8 doesn't go into 3, so we need to add a decimal point and a 0. How many times does 8 go into 30? If we write out the multiples of 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72. So using this, how many times does 8 go into 30? What is the highest multiple of 8 just under 30? That's going to be 24. So 8 goes into 33 times. 8 times 3 is 24, so 8 times 0.3 is 2.4. 3.0 minus 2.4 is 0 0.6. Now, 8 doesn't go into 6, so we need to bring down a 0. Now, how many times does 8 go into 60? What is the highest multiple of 8 just under 60? That's going to be 56. So, 8 goes into 60 7 times. 8 times 7 is 56, so 8 times 0 0.07 is 0 0.56. Now, we subtract. 60 minus 56 is 4. Bring down another 0. 8 goes into 40 exactly 5 times. 8 times 0 0.005 is 0 0.040. Now that we have a remainder of 0, the quotient gives us the answer. So 3 over 8 as a fraction is equal to 0.375 as a decimal. To convert the decimal to a percentage, multiply by 100%, which is equivalent to moving the decimal 2 points or two units to the right. So that's going to be 37.5%. So that is the value of 3 over 8 as a fraction into a percentage. It's 37.5%.